ridiculous and offensive. That's how Channel 5 viewer describes a settlement offer from Nissan following a report by Five Investigates. Our Mike Bodet with the latest twist in this saga involving a hood latch malfunction that the car's owner worries is part of a much bigger problem. It happened without warning while driving down the Mass Pike in August. Oh! What? The Dimarapi's friend just what? happened to be recording the cool looking car in front of them from the back seat when the hood flew up. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like, what, what are the chances? It was, it was insane. They pulled over and everyone was okay, but his mother was rattled. It could have ended very, very badly. I mean, it was very scary. Leslie Schick contacted Nissan about her 2012 Maxima and what appeared to be a malfunctioning hood latch after learning that Nissan recalled 1.8 million Altimas in June because of a hood latch release issue, Schick became incensed. She reached out to five investigates unsatisfied with Nissan's response that the company would inspect the car in six to eight weeks, but would not reimburse her for a rental car. She ended up getting the latch fixed on her own, but held on to the old one. After we contacted Nissan, the company agreed to inspect the malfunctioning hood latch which was sent to Nissan in October. Since then, Nissan has stopped communicating with us, but it did send Leslie Schick this settlement agreement, offering her $500 to reimburse the insurance deductible she paid to fix the latch. It also requires her to release Nissan from any responsibility and keep the terms of the settlement a secret. I personally find it, you know, not just unsatisfactory, but you know, pretty offensive. Schick isn't signing anything and says she remains concerned about the same thing happening to someone else. Our intention in doing this, in you know, trying to publicize this was to prevent other people from being hurt. And what I've been trying to do is find out what the issues with this latch. Does it um, in any way relate to the recall that they have on another model? A class action lawsuit was filed in California against Nissan last month on behalf of owners of the recalled Nissan Altimas that have experienced hood latch malfunctions, calling it a safety hazard that's caused several crashes. Last year, Nissan told Five Investigates the Maxima hood latch and release system is different from that in the previously recalled Altima vehicles. But Nissan has provided no information about the inspection of Schick's hood latch to her or Five Investigates. By now, I'm, I'm just beside myself with anger. You know, it's, it's the worst kind of customer relations that there can be. I just feel like they kind of didn't really take responsibility. It was kind of just a cop out. Again, the last time we heard from Nissan was in October, despite reaching out multiple times. Schick says Nissan has lost her as a customer for good. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.